Hi, this is the sixth episode of the painting of the banqueting table and um, I've got my little dog with me today. Um, this is Indy and um, she's uh, out with me in, in the studio so you might hear her bark. She's very sensitive to any small noise um, so I might have to eventually shut her out. So if I disappear off screen uh, that's what I'll be doing. Um, but um, I'm painting a bit more. I'm painting in this area today and um, it's taken a bit of time. You can probably see I've put in a bit more. I've put some um, another cup in here and this is developing into a jug of wine here. Um, and I've painted on along this way and I've put in the detail on the pots. Um, these are coming up with a bit more colour on them. And I've um, put a first coat on these couple of plates here. So it's all growing and developing. Um, but I'm going to be doing um, some painting around here. Going to put a bit more definition into these um, today while um, I'm chatting with you. I'll put the dog down. And um, I'm going to sort of have a bit of a chat about um, Levi. Um, Jesus has gradually gathered a few disciples around him, but he's on this day, he's um, walks past Levi's tax booth because Le Levi was a tax collector. And it, we can read this story in Luke 5. So um, he walks past, he sees Levi in his booth. And he calls Levi, he says to Levi, come and follow me. And Levi gets up and leaves all the money, all the taxes that he's collecting and follows after Jesus. And Levi later becomes Matthew. But on this um, day, he's still Levi and he actually puts on a big banquet in Jesus' honour. There's my dog barking. I'm going to shut the door. Quiet. Right, hopefully that will be a bit quieter. <laughs> and so um, Levi puts on this banquet, big banquet in Jesus' honour. And he invites um, the disciples to join them. And he invites all his fellow tax collectors and also other other people, other friends, people that were more outcast. Tax collectors were outcast in society because they worked for the Romans who were the occupying army in Israel at that time. And so he invites all these people. So there's quite a crowd actually in Levi's house. Let me start painting or else we're not going to get anything done. Oh, by the way, I had the hair all cut off. Couldn't stand it any longer. <laughs> so uh, I've, um, I've had it all cut off. So I'm going to be um, making this, giving this a bit more definition on these, uh, on these rolls, this, these bakery lovelies that are here so they go to Levi's house and they're enjoying all that Levi has laid on for them and um, they end up getting a bit of attention because there's so many in Levi's house and so the temple leaders, the Pharisees, come along and they want to know why is Jesus eating with all these people that society have rejected? All these people that are not considered good, considered sinners. And um, they ask Jesus' disciples, who is inviting all these people and why is Jesus and his disciples eating with them 
So, <clears throat> Jesus knows what's being said. And so he says, a sick person doesn't need a doctor. And he says, I have, I have come to the bad, the sinners and the unrighteous. And so um, I'm not here for all those that think they're good. I think they're OK and don't need a Messiah. And um, the Pharisees, you know, are quite upset by this. But I was thinking, you know, is that the way we think in our churches? Do we only want the the good people, the nice people, the the middle class citizen that's not going to cause any upsets in our church? Are those the only ones that we want in our church? And I think sometimes we are. We are a bit like that, aren't we? We want it all nice and tidy and comfortable. We don't want uh, to have to step outside of our comfort zone to help anybody that's struggling, maybe with mental health, maybe financially, you know, maybe they've got themselves into a lot of trouble and um, they're going to take some of our time and maybe we don't want that. We just want all the nice singing of the nice songs and, and um, spending friend time with people that fit in with our way of life, our thinking. And um, I think we definitely are a bit like that in our churches. But Jesus said that's not the way it is. You know, he's called people to repentance. He's called people to be sorry for, for their sins. Repentance means that you say sorry and you ask for forgiveness and you endeavour not to do that sin again. You turn away from the things that you were doing or the attitudes that you have. You know, sometimes we think it's, it's physical things that we're doing. It's not just physical things. It's the attitude as well of, um, of the way we behave. So, um, Jesus accepts everyone. He accepts everyone and anyone if they come in repentance, if they come saying sorry for their wrongdoing, for their sin. So, um, these people that are in this at this banquet, this big banquet that Levi has laid on, are not the perfect, not the good. They didn't fit into society. And Jesus is there and he's talking to them and he's spending time with them. He's enjoying Levi's hospitality with these people. And the Pharisees are judging. They're judging Jesus and they're judging the people. So um, these people were outsiders of the society. They didn't fit in to what the temple leaders believed was right and believed that a, um, a rabbi, a teacher, should be spending his time with or his energy on and you know and that comes down to i think that's often the way it is within our church we've got to spend our time and energy with people that don't fit in and so we don't want them <laughs> basically is what it comes down to we don't want them we don't want that hassle and that stress and Jesus accepts everyone. He accepts us all. And there is no measure on sin. Sin is sin as far as God is concerned. So whether it's what we call a white lie or whether it is fraud 
or mental health, it's all the same as Jesus is concerned. And he loves and cares for us all. And he wants every one of us. So let's welcome people in. You know, a lot of people say they want revival. If we have revival, it's not going to be neat and tidy. It's going to be messy. If you look back through history, it was messy. So let's pray for revival, but let's accept whoever God brings in. Okay. Hope you have a good time this week. Bye bye.